What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Alright, y'all, what's going on? You know who this is. I don't have to do the intro 50 million times, or do I? <laughs> I won't do it, but anyway, back to the topic at hand, which I didn't confess what the topic was. Today I'm going to talk about how... I don't know how some of these dummies out there can't understand how homosexuality, feminism, and other things are detrimental to, like, say you have uh, a, a black coalition, a white coalition, a Hispanic coalition, or whatever you do, those are countered. Homosexuality, feminism, and all that, that's countered to those groups. Now, let me, under, let me, let me uh, go on. The fact of the matter is, if somebody wants to form a coalition to anything, you got to understand something. Homosexuality, they are their own subgroup. It's been proven time and time again they have their own agenda. Whenever it was before the Supreme Court, let me let me show you guys how much these dummies don't pay attention. And to, to a lot of you dummies pay attention. Whenever the Supreme Court was deciding the Civil Rights Voting Act of 1965, it was deciding gay marriage at the same time. Now, at the same time, when you're uh, when this when the voting marriage was came up, your reverends, your preachers, your whatevers, your T.J. Jakes, your uh, Jesse Jacksons, your Al Sharptons, was uh, where well, they were. Um, they were getting you to go on the side of the homosexual. Of course, that's what the black folks do. Because why? Because we were once slaves, so we have to recognize every fucking buddy that even that even the deviants. We have to. Oh, you're a deviant, but we were a slave, so we can recognize your, your pain. How the fuck you recognizing a deviant's pain? Let me stop. Now, when those decisions went to court, the, 19, the, the Civil Rights Act failed, but the gay marriage passed. So you know what happened? They started gerrymandering, and if, they started redistricting some, certain uh, politicians' districts. So they were written that, uh, hey, they, every party does this, so don't get mad at the Republicans. What they did is, so the Republicans are in charge, so they're gerrymandering. They're, they're, they're making new districts, phasing out the um, Democratic districts. And they're making voting laws harder. Like, if you don't have an ID, which should be common sense to a lot of people, then again. They were doing stuff like that when, when the voting acts right in 1965 fell. They went through all this, and this is all legal what they were doing. But a lot of black people slit their throat because th that's when Donald Trump won. And Donald Trump won afterwards because, let's face it, he, he won more than the white vote because the white vote was split down the middle, basically. He won with the help of the minorities. He did. He dealt with the blacks and the browns. He, he, he won, if you look at the states, like a lot of states have black and brown population. That, those were the deciding vote. You just didn't, he just didn't win with the white folks. He won with 8% of the black folks, which Mitt Romney had like, what, 4 to 6% of the black folks? So that then there is, is a big improvement. But uh, but back to the lecture at hand. You want to help, say you're having a, a black caucus and these lap dogs, which they don't do anything. Let's pretend that they've done, done things. You don't want the homosexuals to come in because the homosexuals have their own agenda. And it's bad enough that we can't fight for one agenda, let alone two agendas. You can't have, look, we don't have the, the troops to fight for two agendas like that. If we have an agenda we're striving for, it, it's like this. It's We're fighting for our agenda, and that's it. The homosexuals have their own agenda. They have their own political interests. They have their own super you know, action committees. But black folks, here's the problem. And then here's, here's what kills you. You want to cry that Obama didn't do anything for you. Well, let me, let me, let me explain something to you. When you got 95% of the population of the minority population, black folks voting for you? What do you have to do for that? Nothing. Think about it, dummies. You got 95% of the people voting for you. They're not asking you for anything. And then when they ask you for something, they saw the homosexuals get something. So then you wait till the dude becomes a lame duck in the second term of his second year. I mean, the second year of his second term. He's lame duck by then. All he's doing is... Just making sure Democrats are getting in office to keep a majority. But black folks don't, a lot, I'm not going to say all black folks, because this should be, that should, that's another thing that should be understood. Well, I'm not talking in generalizations here. 
you should understand that not everything is 100%. And a lot of black folks don't do that. They want to talk about, like everything's breaking news. Like if I say like a lot of black folks are on welfare. Well, white folks are on it too. They make it sound like they're fucking Wolf Blitzer um, in the Situation Room over there. You mean the white folks are on welfare? Duh. No shit, Sherlock. What else is next? But, back to the lecture. Man, well, you cannot have two agendas. It's counterproductive. You have to have one agenda, and you have to ride with that. Now, the homosexuals, I have no problem with homosexuals. I just know that they're for self, which black folks apparently don't know how to do. Like, whenever, like I said, whenever, whenever, whenever the black homosexuals had their chance, where did they go? They went to the black homosexuals. I mean, not to the, they went to the homosexual people because that's where the money went. I can't fault them. That's where the money was, and that's where the where, where, where the, the thing to do. They were homosexual. They're like, they see us, and they're like, hey, man, you just you give your votes away for nothing. Donald Trump. You wonder why 8% of black, black folks voted for Donald Trump. Let me explain to you something. Donald Trump is really, he, he, Donald Trump can no, can't win no matter what he does. In the beginning, he ran as, as a, first of all, the GOP, the established GOP was against him, and Democrats were against him. He ran, he's been running the country as three things. He's been running the country as a Republican, he's ran the country as a Democrat, and now he's running the country as a businessman. And all three, people aren't happy with it. He ran. He ran a country. Some of his. He ran a country as a. Well, I'll just say this. He ran a country as a politician and as a businessman. He ran a country as a politician, thinking that the people he's going to pick in his uh, cabinet, a lot of them are going to be loyal. A lot of them are talking behind his back, and a lot of them are going to do this. Then you got some of the, 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 the rank and file Republicans. You know, these guys had their nuts clipped off by Obama, so they're basically they're the type of watchdog. They're the type of watchdog that'll bark on the porch. But when the minute you open the gate, they're looking around like, oh, hey, hold up there. The gate's open. And you're like, yeah, you're the fucking watchdog. Shouldn't you be getting after that guy? They're like, oh, I just barked, bro. And the Democrats, it's like, it's like, the Democrats are like playing dodgeball. And you're playing against a mini, mini handicapped team. And you, you win all the time because you hit them in the fucking head. They don't know what they're doing over there. So it's like, just the Democrats, what the, what the fuck? So Trump has it bad on all ways. Now he's doing the right things, and he's going by God. I can't fault him on that. That I can't fault nobody on that because that's his beliefs. But Trump won the black more blacks than Romney did because Trump went to the black neighborhoods. Trump Trump talked to the, the to the Mexicans. He talked to the blacks. He talks to the Puerto Ricans. He talked to he went from everywhere from the hood, the barrio, to the trailer park. Hillary was just relying on. Baked chicken and you know collard greens to get their get her vote. These aren't the same black people who voted for Clinton because he had a piece of chicken in Harlem. These I, look, I voted for Trump because I got sick of the process and we needed something to kickstart our economy. We need people that like are willing to work. Like now he's done with this thing with the social service, with the welfare. If you don't work, you don't eat, and everybody's getting all upset. But yet it says that in your Bible. And let me tell you, FRI for so you people. Your churches aren't going to save your ass. Because now, all that, all them billions of monies they got, they're going to have to show and prove. And they can't feed you all. So what are you going to do? A lot of you are giving your kids back to the dad, or you're going to be living with grandma and grandpa. But back to the lecture and I am. As I was saying, a lot of people don't understand. Why should, why, they say, well, you, you don't like feminists. Of course I'm like feminists. Feminists are the reason for stupid shit. Let me let me show you what feminists have done. Remember when uh, Idris Elba? And I'm, I'm sorry, I'm chopping his name up, but the guy who played in the movie with Matthew McConaughey with the shooting, the, the Dark Tower, Midnight Tower, the Dark Tower, whatever that movie was, he was supposed to be the next Bond. He he he, he was basically Bond, but the feminist, they um, they had their they they went shit they they shit breaks. And so now he's not he's not born and whatever this at the third, mind you, he's been like one of the top ten, top five people's best looking people. But that's another story, like I said, for another day. But back to this 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 dumb topic, people don't understand. Like, whenever the you know why the Republicans are successful? Because number one. And then like there's, there's a lot of Republicans. There's black. There's white. There's brown. 
most of Republicans, well, most Democrats too, they're rich, but they just want to make you feel like you're stupid, so they're like, hey, we feel for you. But uh, a lot of Republicans, they do stuff like buy the bootstraps. They're not, they're not, they're not handout friendly. They want you, their 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 business mind is so if you if you try to get a small business, they will help you succeed. But it's up to you to do the work. A lot of you people want out to want you want the keys to the car, but you don't know how to drive. And you and you don't want to take in this modern age and era, you don't want to take the time to look shit up. How do I do XYZ? And that's why you fail. Most businesses fail within like the first two years. And that's because a lot of people just don't have the heart to do anything. You want to sit around and say, well, my business was a failure. Why was your business a failure? What did, did you do X, this, this, this? Well, I didn't think about doing that. Well, yeah, you didn't think. You just said it. You have to really sit down and take your time and do your job. But see, we're talking about many topics in this, in this last 10 minutes or so. But at the end of the day, to a lot of you dummies out there, let me explain something. If you have like a brown or white or black caucus, it is, it is counterproductive to have a homosexual in there that doesn't, that as long, if he knows what's going on, cool. But if you got to make them understand, this is, this is our thing. If you want to do your little homosexual thing, you need to join that homosexual super pack over there. Because at the end of the day, it's either blood in or blood out. So I hope you dummies get it. And I, I know these dummies don't get it, but at least I tried. So uh, have a good one and peace out.